Hey guys, I am here. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you have never been, uh, welcome. I hope you enjoy uh, our my videos. And um, uh, today I'm just gonna go straight into the subject. I have a subject that is really close to my heart. It's about women's health, black women's health, anywhere in the world, but specifically in Europe and North America. I've heard so many stories where uh, there's been issues where the, the, the woman wasn't, uh, well diagnosed and she ended up dying. You know, they, they would pass away because, uh, somebody, uh, they, they were not taken seriously or they, they, they just misdiagnosed them and, and took the wrong, uh, gave them the wrong medication. Very, very, uh, very similar uh, uh, regular uh, mistakes that they make in, in, in different situations where it's either they did not pay attention to what she was saying, they did not believe that she was feeling pain, uh, or all kinds of, of situations, right? So I wanted to address that. I am not, um, I just want to put it out there that uh, a disclaimer that I am not a health specialist. But I, I am a woman and, I'm, and I think we should all use judgment because at the end of the day, it's our bodies that are, are being dealt with uh, when it comes to health, right? So uh, it's very important that if you're a black woman, if you're a woman in general, if you're going to the hospital, you know questions that you're supposed to ask. You know what they're doing. You can get information. You're well informed before you even get to the hospital and uh, you know what to do because many, many, many times it's miseducation or we just have no idea what to do. We don't know what they're doing to us and we're just at the mercy of whoever is is uh is giving us uh the the care so at the mercy of the healthcare specialists or professionals which are humans as well and they can make mistakes and they do make mistakes many many times uh several times and that's why people some people die and they, they have uh, uh it's a it's a medical negligence sometimes right so I just want to put the subject out there and, and address it. I don't know if you, if you have any ideas, if you have any wisdom to share, any questions that you're used to sharing when you go visit the doctor, things like that, uh, comment and let us know, share the information so that, uh, people can know what type of questions they are supposed to be asking when they get to the hospital. What should they do? How do you prepare before getting to the hospital or before getting to see a health professional? What do you need to know? What are the questions you're allowed to us ask? And what are the questions you, you, you should be asking to understand things? For example, if they're prescribing a medication to you, you need to know if that medication has side effects and how many other side effects are going to come with that medication. Because the thing is, if a medication has a side effect, chances are that you're going to be prescribed other medication to, uh, to kind of like solve that uh, side effect situation that has been created by the first medication and now you're, you end up with several different medication uh, that you need to be using, right? So those are questions that need to be asked. You have to ask questions. You have to know. You have to get informed. So I, I was watching a video and, and I got super uh, relevant information and I thought, yeah, why not talk about it and share it? So a certain doctor called Dr. Karam Jaram, I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing the, the Karam Rajan. Yeah, Karam Rajan, and I hope I'm, I'm, I'm pronouncing the name well, but, uh, he gave very good information on what are the 10 questions that you should be asking when you go, for example, for surgery. Okay. Health overall is very important as a black woman, you know, and, um, even just to to be able to work or to do anything to be effective to to be present for your family you need to be healthy so it's not a joke to just go under the knife or get, get a surgery so you need to know what you're doing and why you're doing it so sometimes they're just going to tell you you need a surgery but why do you need that surgery you have to ask the questions so the first question you need to ask do i need more operations after this operation what is it for? Why do I need it? Right? 
what is the recovery like will i be able to go home right after will i need somebody how long will it take for me to recover how many weeks what are the things i'll be able to do and things i will not be able to do after this uh, surgery also do i need to prepare how how do i prepare how do i prepare my house uh my job or well, the things that i'm supposed to do right the questions that some people do think about but some people actually have no idea they should be asking those questions um also what type of anesthetic will they be using on you what type of medication will you need before after and during you know if there is what are the risks after that what what other situation can you get into after that surgery it's very important to know that uh, uh what does it involve like what are the things that are going to be uh, happening later on am i going to be on medication for the rest of my life after this surgery or is it just one a one thing a one time thing that we do and it's over and I'm free and I can go on with my life. So how does it impact me? The, does my life change completely? Right? So, uh, are they any other, are there any other alternatives? Uh, I mean, can we do something else other than the surgery or, or do we have to jump right away to the surgery? Very important questions. And there might be many other alternatives out there than the surgery and uh, what are the benefits if there are any benefits what are they those are questions that need to be asked can somebody be with me always always have somebody if you can't at least if you don't have anybody that can come or walk with you or knows how to be how to answer the questions for you when you're unable to answer those questions uh, make sure you can record you know everything that's going on or make sure you can have a, a a a camera i don't know something so if you have to be alone by yourself you can you can actually at least have some type of protection because you don't know what are going all the things that are going on during uh your surgery when it, it actually happens right so making sure that you're prepared and you have all your bases covered be, before you actually go through a surgery, accept a surgery or or refuse or reject the surgery. I'm not I'm not telling you go out there and re refuse a surgery. I'm saying make a very well informed decision before you actually do. Uh great surgeries happen and and people are are happy after that, right? They 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 actually are painless, pain-free and all of that. So maybe just get that information first and know exactly what's going on before don't get any surprises later on so that that's what i wanted to share with you guys i hope this helps uh keep informed keep learning and please comment and share your information share whatever you can share here so that everybody can know and and um and be well informed on what needs what are the questions the best questions that you were able to ask and what you discovered share your story share and help somebody out there that's all i had for you today uh take care and thank you for coming